PHP provides us with two useful functions for working with CSV files. The first is the fput CSV function. This function receives at the minimum two arguments. The first should be a file handle, a reference for a specific object that represents a file. The second argument should be an array of values we want to write inside the file as a new row in the CSV format. In this code sample, each time the for each loop iterate, it adds a new line, a new row to the file. Its name is data.csv. If we check the current folder, we can see that currently we have the create CSV and the read CSV PHP script files, those two files. We still do not have the data.csv file. If we execute this specific script, we shall see how the new file data.csv is created. Let's check the folder and here it is. We can open it and see its content and find those values we have in our code. The next function PHP provides us for working with CSV files is the fgetCSV function. This function receives at the minimum a file handle. Each time we call this function it returns us an array of values of the next row of the given of the specific CSV file we are working with. In this code sample we get a file handle to the file data.csv. Each time the fgetCSV function is called we get the next row in this specific file. Each time we get the next row we get an array of values this row, the specific row includes. And having an array of values we can simply iterate those values and print them out to the screen as in this code sample or do something else. Let's see how this code sample works. And here it is, we get those values we have inside the CSV file. Those values we have previously written inside that data.csv file using the fput csv function.